Giuliani says he doesn't know if collusion with Russia would be a crime despite the Mueller investigation. I want to bring in now CNN national security commentator Mike Rogers. He's a former chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Good evening, sir. Always a, a pleasure evening. to have you on. Thank you so much. Thanks. I hear you're the Energizer Bunny today, <laughs> up like since 3 o'clock this morning. I've been up since 3.30 this morning. I flew to Ohio, did the interview, I flew back, and but you know, no woe is me. I'm fine. The, the Energizer Bunny, I'm telling you, you're going to get the award. You used to go to Wolf, now it's all you. <laughs> I know, I, I, like, I'm having trouble, Mike, like saying words. I'm like, I haven't been drinking, but I'm like, the words are coming slowly. So listen, but we have been talking about uh, President Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, moving the goalpost in this investigation. Um, he never colluded to collusion isn't illegal, and then he knew nothing about the meeting to uh, there wasn't a meeting. So what is the strategy here, Mike? Boy, I don't know. In the last couple of days, I, you know, and I know Rudy Giuliani, and he's a, is a fine man, and he's, he's, he's a good lawyer. I mean, I, I, I knew him when he was doing mob cases back in New York. He was a, an FBI agent in Chicago. And so I think, uh, I just think he's having a bad week here. It appears to me that there is just no coordination between what the White House communication shop is doing, or at least his lawyer shop is doing, I should say, the president's, uh, and what Giuliani's doing. I think they have this kind of general go out there and, and fix this thing. And Giuliani isn't really doing the legal work, it appears to me. He's doing the PR work. And boy, I thought in the last couple of days, he just wasn't, just wasn't at his best. Yeah. Well, I mean, and he said, just since he's been representing the president, he said some things that are not necessarily consistent um, uh, as well, but the last couple of days, you're right. I think it's you know he's not at his best. I you know, there's a there's a Japanese proverb that says only lawyers and painters can make white into black. <laughs> think about it. I mean, he's been on both sides of this issue, right? <laughs> Michael Cohen's just a terrible or a great guy. Now he's just an awful and terrible guy. And so I think you're going to see more of that as the pressure of this case mounts. The mm -hmm. one that got me, I will say this, Don, when he said, well, if collusion isn't a crime, but even if it were a crime, uh, you know, my, my client didn't have anything to do with it or wouldn't have done it. That, that's, that's, oh, boy, that's just close to being irresponsible with your language when the when this matter is that serious i i i hope they go back and rehuddle up and and uh, come out of come out of the gate a little stronger for their for his client yeah i mean what but can you put the genie back in the bottle uh that's yeah. a question but listen i gotta sure. ask you about some news here yeah. because this is a new report it's from the washington post it says that um u.s spy agencies are seeing signs that north korea is constructing new missiles at a factory that produced the country's first intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of reaching the United States. That's according to officials familiar with the intelligence. So does this fly in the face of the president's claim that North Korea is no longer a nuclear threat? Yeah, but unfortunately, we knew that this was this this thing hasn't worked out well at all. So just by having the meeting came back oh, they've agreed to denuclearize right away. The North Korean government was coming out of that saying, no, we didn't say that. And so you, this is, I, I hate to say, this is the pattern we've seen over and over and over again, which is why other presidents have run into this same problem. They're very good about getting concessions. North Korea wants some concessions. They pressure, they, do, they act badly, they misbehave. The world comes around and says, maybe this is the time, maybe this is the time. Uh, and we see exactly the same behavior that we're just watching unfold now. Yeah. I have no doubt that they are actively engaged in trying to secure their nuclear program. Remember, Kim Jong-un believes this is what will uh, allow him to stay in power forever. And he also believes it's what will allow him to negotiate U.S. forces Mike, off the peninsula. And Mike, I, I hate to cut, interrupt you, no, but I want to get okay. this in because it's important before I have to go to the top of the hour. News conference today, the president dropped a, a stunner saying that he is willing to meet with Iranian President Rouhani with no preconditions. I mean, what do you make of considering it was just a week ago that President Trump directly warned Rouhani never to threaten the U.S. or else? And remember, when the former president, Obama, said that he would meet with people, it was, oh, my gosh, their heads were popping off all over the country from conservatives, including this president, I think, who, who said something about it. And by the way, including me, I, yeah. I was pretty upset when President Obama came out and said, no conditions, I'm going to meet with the, with the Iranians. And if you remember, there was the, the secret meetings in Oman. I was the intel chairman then. I was, I was not happy about that either. I'm not happy about this either. I think any time that you cede any leverage as president of the United States on something as serious as nuclear weapons, you're making a mistake and you'll get nothing out of so, it. But why is Just it okay like we're now? seeing with North Korea. Why is it okay now for, for lots of folks? 
Well, if they shouldn't be. If you're, if you're consistent in your national security views, uh, again, I was pretty upset with President Obama. For, for deciding he was going to reach out with no concessions. Actually, President Obama gave them cash mm -hmm. to come to the table. I was apoplectic back then, even on CNN, saying, hey, I, don't, I really disagree with this. I think President Trump is actually doing exactly what I was uh, and many people were frustrated about President Obama doing, mm -hmm. because you end up not getting anything for it. What you end up doing is giving away pieces of leverage at a really bad time. And I I just, I'm not sure the president understands that. He had a meeting with Kim Jong-un. He thought it was great. Guess what? The report comes out that they're building missiles. I yeah. guarantee you, you have a meeting with no consequences for Iran. Yeah, sure, show up. Why not? You're, you're going to get on the short end of that stick in a hurry. Mike Rogers, much appreciated. Thank you, sir.